Hello everyone and welcome back. All right, today is finally the day we are going to give Rebel his new home. And I did decide to use a wheel to do it. There was a channel made on Discord where players could input their name if they were interested in being in the drawing. We ended up with 351 registries by the time I implemented the Ko-Fi benefits in there. So yeah, that's a lot of names on this poor wheel. So I'm really excited to get Rebel his new home. And then also today I want to show you something pretty cool. As you can see, I have Venture behind me and I don't know if you noticed, but she does look a little bit different. She got sort of a glow up and I got a few really cool horse coats I wanna show you. Before we get started today though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. Okay, so here is Venture. And yes, she does look slightly different. Let me take off her blanket. You can really tell when she has no blanket on. And there we go. So I actually commissioned someone. Her name is Ashira and she actually does custom swim coats. As you can see, she's really, really talented. I kind of just told her that I'd like Venture to look a little bit more realistic in terms of being a blue roan and she just added all these details to her coat. She's got all this freckling and it just makes her look more roaned out. So I think she looks beautiful. I also had her give me a couple of other coats. So this one, he actually did for me custom. Take off the blanket. And I love the pattern on this horse, the detail, the, sh the shadowing right here, and the, the lighter color here. And I think the white markings are really unique and really cool. He even added the lighter color on the tail and in the mane. I just really like the uniqueness of this horse. There's two more that I had her do for me. This one is after Picasso the Stallion. So I'm sure everyone's familiar with Picasso, right? Well, that's what this horse represents. Again, I think there's a lot of really awesome detail in this coat and I think he looks amazing. But I think my favorite of all of them is this one. This is Hidalgo. I love that movie and I love that horse. Look at the mane and tail. He looks absolutely incredible. So I'm really, really happy with how these coats turned out. I am going to link her Ko-Fi down in my description. If anyone is interested in getting themselves a custom coat, I highly recommend her work. Now, the only thing is I am the only one that can see these changes because obviously you have to have the resource pack in your client to see them. So to you guys, this horse is going to be the Ariel's coat and this one would be the spirit coat. Oh, and then this one would be Titus. Yeah, at least they look really, really awesome on my screen. <laughs> okay, now that I showed you guys these awesome new things. So this last week, I actually sent my five horses to five different trainers to be trained. And this morning, I actually got Rebel back, which is perfect because obviously we're going to be spinning the wheel today for his new home. Julian, the one that actually trained him for me, said that they couldn't get a whole lot done, but... Hey, I mean, speed three, jump two, willing, that's not too bad. So the new owner, I'm sure will be very happy with that because they can also train him a bit themselves. I also got Pepper Jack back this morning. Jack's Rooms was the trainer for him. But the other three are still out and being trained. Okay, I guess now is as good a time as any to go ahead and spin for Rebel's new owner. So let me bring up that wheel. Okay, so here is the wheel. <laughs> I told you guys it was kind of ridiculous. There are so many names. It's crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a spin. I wish you all the best of luck. And here we, oh yeah, by the way, this is uh, supposed to be Rebel. <laughs> uh, that was the only picture I could find. Okay, anyways, here we go. Oh my gosh, who's it gonna be? And yes, I have it spinning longer on purpose. Because, oh, the anticipation. Who's gonna win this horse? Oh, Sarah's just went by. Oh, it's so close. Looks like Snowy Dragon. Nope. Moxolotl. Wow. <laughs> 
How lucky! Name only on there one time, and it just happened to land directly on you. So congratulations to Moss. Um, now we're going to have to go check out the ranch, make sure that everything's in tip-top shape, and then Rebel will be given to you. So again, congratulations. So Rebel, you have your new home, well, your new owner, potentially, as long as everything checks out, and that's so exciting. I'm going to go ahead and put him back in his stall. As Moss will not be informed of being the winner until this video publishes. <laughs> so I have to keep it secret for a couple days. Now that that spin is done, I know others have been asking about the other horses. And yes, Ruby will be up for sale. I think I'm going to stick her in the auction, though. Because I do want to record an auction so that people that can't be on the server can actually watch one. Now, the last thing we're going to do is go on a short tour of one of the staff members' places, Loyana. She's been working really hard on her ranch and she wants me to see it. But she's also going to show me the new ocean lands for player housing. So we're going to go check that out right now. We are going to take Venture out today because we have not gone on a trail ride with her in so long. So we need to go to the farmlands. And let me check and see, where'd she say to go again? North 18. So, and there she is. Supporting some beautiful yellow Western tack. Oh my gosh, I forgot my girth. All right, so I don't think I've ever really even been up here. Yeah, I've never been here. So we have Golden Grove Stables and Syndicate. Oh my gosh, <laughs> hold on. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so this is Sins. Oh yeah, I've heard about this place. It looks very um, medieval. Oh, I love that. I wonder if I can move in here. <laughs> this is so pretty. This is so cool. It totally reminds me of some sort of medieval game. Oh shoot. Oh, I did not mean to crash. Oh, I think she's lagging or I'm lagging. I don't know. I'm really digging all these what is that oh that's horrifying like a shrimp or a lobster i think it's a shrimp i don't know it's creepy and then there's a bunch of fish these are some really really cool fish tanks oh my gosh i love how this is just a path through the forest so it looks like we must have just arrived. Oh, the bluffs. Very, very beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love this building. It's so pretty. So this, she says, is her round barn and the only one on the server, which is really cool. And by the way, I would have her on voice chat, except it's really hard for me to get the audio quality to be decent, especially because... I have to do a lot of editing because my house is always so loud. Every inch of space is perfectly utilized and organized. Oh, there's even pictures on the stalls. That's so cute. Hey, what else? What else are we going to see? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this beautiful pond. And I'm assuming that's her house, which is absolutely gorgeous. Hold on. Okay, so we've got a stall down here. Oh, cows. Hi, cow. And then over here, I love how this is connected like this. This is so cool. Okay, so then in here, yeah, this must be her house. Oh, the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is how I wish my house could be, right? Not so massive in the middle, but cozy and quaint and kind of real to life. Not just so open. <laughs> this picture is amazing. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. That's her down there. Oh, she built that. Wow, <laughs> I thought it was a picture of an actual horse. That's crazy. That looks so amazing. Well, let's go upstairs and check it out. Ooh, that's fancy armor. Oh, we've got a big old dog. Oh, Samson. Oh, he's so cute. And Tuna. <laughs> that's a great name for a dog. Ooh, that's really pretty. And in here, more stairs. 
Oh, this is so cute. I want this. What is this? Oh my gosh, I want a teddy bear or a teddy dog. That really is like a throne toilet. <laughs> hey, back downstairs. Let's see what other stuff we have. The one problem I would have with a house like that, I feel like I would get lost all the time and not know where things are. Moo, wait, what's the name? M Mulinda? Mulinda's cute. Oh, and here's the seals from her story. <laughs> cute. I love that. So I guess we're gonna cross the water here and maybe this is the view she was talking about. Oh yeah, that's, that's really nice. I mean, our render distance is kind of bad, but you know, you get the idea. Oh, there's even a lava waterfall. Wow. <laughs> see what else she has to show us. Jump on the horses and see where we're gonna go next. Oh, okay, so we've got even more buildings back here. So it looks like, oh, there is the police cow, Big Daddy. <laughs> That's a perfect name for that cow. And some more gorgeous buildings, wow. Must be the chicken coop. Oh, it's so cute, it puts mine to shame. Oh, a nice little arena here. Probably perfect for training some jumping and practicing some dressage. Oh, and here's some more cows. So here we have some more horses. Oh, the mares, okay. Very nice barn. Small and quaint, but spacious for the horses. I think over there is actually chicken's stuff. Chicken and Loy live close together. Yeah, okay, Riverview Cliffs belongs to Chicken Hawk. This is another really awesome building though, oh my gosh. Completely different vibe than Loy's, but still really, really cool. Oh, it's like a little, you know what this kind of reminds me of? Almost like Spanish type homes. I wonder if that's what Chicken was going for. Ooh, a nice big fish tank. Oh, we've got some bugs and bottles. I honestly didn't know you could even do that. <laughs> There's some ants. That's super neat. In entomology, okay. And then is this a snake? Oh, <laughs> he's sticking his head out. Yep, I guess it's a snake. Jeffrey. Uh, it looks like Jeffrey's gonna bite me. Yeah, he looks like he wants to eat her face, so that that's not nice. Oh, Chicken's got a really nice view of Loy's barn down there. Whoa, this is super cool. She said she's very happy with her garden. Like, yeah, I literally just said, whoa, because it is super pretty. And this view is even better. Like being high up here, you get to look at it. Super nice. I'm just gonna, you know, in the water. I mean, I didn't kill a fish. I would feel so bad, but this is so pretty. So this kind of reminds me almost like a Japanese garden type of thing. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, this is so nice. This kind of reminds me of my pond a little bit, and now I'm thinking I want to add a gazebo like this. This was a really, really good idea. Nice place to sit and relax. Let's see what's around the- okay, this just goes back out to the front. Really, really, really awesome. I love it, and this must be Chicken's Barn. Same theme as the house. Oh, nice- and oh, look at the little babies! Oh, they're so cute! Nice, big, spacious area. Wow. Pink mushrooms. I remember my mushroom days. <laughs> Apparently, according to the players on 118, they're really hard to find here. Wow, look at that bridge. <gasps> Whoa. That looks so cool. I love that. Just told her that that is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that's like breathtaking. What a nice build. Gosh, Venture is just rearing to go. We've got even more stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this so much. <laughs> I think this is probably my favorite style of barn. Having it wrap around like that with the pillars. I need my next barn to look like this. I'm going to have to ask Chicken for some tips as uh, having an outdoor barn in this style. I mean, I kind of do need a new one for the next place I'm going to travel to. Then's getaway. Oh, it's like a tent. You can have like little camping parties down here and just kind of hang out, chill. 
definitely remote and definitely excluded from the outside world. So, ooh, a dark tunnel. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so we just came out the top. Let's go this direction. Follow Lloyd, don't get lost. It's more. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, he's so cute. Why does he just live here all alone? Okay, this is his little house, I guess. That's adorable. He's just like a, a lonely mountain goat hanging out by himself. Maybe he prefers it that way. He could be like a hermit. And now Loy is going to go ahead and take us to the ocean lands. I'm really excited to see this place. I've heard about it, but not checked it out myself yet. So we are headed there right now. Okay, here we are. This is the ocean lands, another player housing area. And oh my gosh, this looks amazing. This place is so super cool. I have not seen this yet. I'm very, very excited. All right, Loy, give me the tour. So Loy says the ocean lands is our newest player housing area. It connects to the farmlands and provides private islands that players can claim. We have a welcoming open house buffet below. How fun is this? Wow. I know if, what? I didn't know you could wrap the streamers like that. That's so cool. I know if I were new to the server, I think I would choose this as my house because I mean, what? <laughs> You're surrounded by the ocean. That is so amazing. This is what I mean when I tell you guys like, the community is so talented and the stuff on, you know, look at this rainbow glass. Wow. But the stuff on the server is the minds of so many people together and just create something so cool. Like even this bridge is pretty. If I built this bridge, it would just probably be oak planks and like some fences. <laughs> This is definitely where I would choose to live. This is so cool. All of these paths are wooded too. Oops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she ran into the mushroom too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Venture. He is just rearing to go. This is like a mushroom biome. And it looks like we do have people living out here already. Paths are so nice and neat and fancy oh so this is like a private island that she mentioned so you can actually choose to have your own private island that's big too nice big space and super private oh there's a flying fish oh he's stuck oh no no fishy get back in the water here no don't jump don't jump so close there he's free okay anyways could not leave the poor fish to just die oh so yeah private islands amazing honestly i do think my favorite part of this is this path it's so so clean it's our fifth waystone and then i think it connects up into the mainland is kind of what i'm gathering what an amazing fantastic job everyone that was involved with this project did it's absolutely amazing like seriously <laughs> i'm just floored so again thank you so much loy for showing me around i'm very excited for any new players to come on and be able to experience all this awesome stuff absolutely incredible i hope that you guys enjoyed the video if you did please let me know down in the comments and moss congratulations to you again for the winning spin i will be in contact with you very soon Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.